think we're live. Should be live. What's up, everybody? Or anybody that's even here? Just getting some mowing done. We can get some cows in. Up, Kyle. Are you? Have you? Are you around today? Have you been able to get on the server at all today? Hey, Benny. Welcome. Very awkward time for a stream again, I know, but gotta do it when you can do it, right? Hey, Tegan. Hello. Nothing much better we just came home today. I, yeah, I haven't, or yeah, I've been trying, but the servers aren't, it won't even like load me into the, like, server thing. You know, like where you actually, where you actually like connect to the server, I haven't been able to, it just sits there, it says please wait connecting. Watching this while you're working on your corn picker there, very nice. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully there's not a ton of issues there back in time farms. Yeah, anytime, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know if any time's good, Caleb. I'm sure if I were to stream later when everybody's not working, it would get, oh, the streams would get a lot more traction, but my daughter's always sleeping when I have time to stream and she's in the room right next door, so. King Sim, hello. Welcome in. Yeah, I don't know. I tried for like, like I was going to stream like an hour ago, but it, I just kept trying because I wanted to stream on the server. And it just wasn't working, so I was like, well, do the next best thing and we'll stream on some Stitzer. This update's been really cool. Been just kind of messing around here and there, just kind of setting up a farm when I'm, I don't know, bored and I don't have everything yet, but I'm working on it. My biggest conundrum right now with how I, with what I want to do with this farm is do I want to run like silage trucks or do I just want to run like Meyer wagons with my tractors? That's my biggest that's my biggest issue with this farm setup. Yeah, this map's sweet. Very cool. I've been just, I don't know, I've been like wanting to do get back to a dairy and like a big dairy. There's a lot of really cool farms on this map that MRG's done or made. I feel like this is the most complete farm so far that he's made and that's what really caught my attention because I think with a lot of the farms, I don't know, I don't even know if MRG's watching or not, but like some of the farms besides this like you can see this one it has four five different uh barns that are working but what i really wanted was like for the other smaller farms to have like all their barns working as well before i really got on it but this one this one has them all working i believe i haven't really tested it but if it has the sign or like the animal sign i would figure it's working Now that we have that, I'm in. I'm hooked. Go big or go home. Yes, sir. I'm not, like, running huge stuff, either. Like, I'm still, like, running some older equipment. 
Like kind of like the early, like late 90s, early 2000s equipment that I like to run. But, you know, got a lot of tractors and like all that stuff, so it's kind of fun. Undying Newt, hey, what's up? Welcome back to the stream. Always good to see ya. Ink Sim, is this map public? It is not currently. It is on MRG's Patreon. Oh, MRG is here. We're going to uh, President Pelagic. Yeah, no, I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving you a hard time about it, but that's that's what I want to see before I really started doing anything on this map. So, happy, what's up, man? How are you? Yeah, we got to go back and get that. I just want to set up my GPS quick. Brimson Bob. My second time catching live. Look cool. Yeah, it's a great map. You guys are going to love this map when it's released. Mergy's doing a lot of like custom blender stuff and it's I think it's paying off. I think it's really it's really going to be a really good map. Very hilly. Very hilly. There's one field on this farm. You got to kind of like drive back down a lane to get to it. That one's a doozy. That's a doozy of a of a field there. I wish we had more side hill combines. Like, I wish we had bigger side hill combines. Like, on Gearok Farms, I don't know if any of you watch Gearok. He has, a, like, a custom guy come in, and he has a side hill STS, and that would be sweet to have. That size of a combine as a side hill would be dope. Sounds like Wisconsin, yep. Yeah. Seems, seems to be, uh... Part part of the course for this area, so uh, once we get back around, I'll kind of show you guys the farm and what I got set up. Yeah, it's a it's a great map. Sim Farms, awesome. Yeah, it has been a while. Happy. Hopefully, college is going good for you and stuff. You're at Iowa State, right? I believe. Might be completely off on that, but I believe that I remember you saying you're at you're a freshman at Iowa State. Oh yeah, you're not going to have much time for anything with finals, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, what's going on here with this GPS track? Uh, I think I got to turn, yeah, I got to turn snap terrain off, that's why we're having a hard time setting this up. Hey Sam, hope you're well. Glad to be able to finally catch- Yeah! What's up, Jason? Good to see you, man. Happy that you were able to catch one as well. I've done it without the help, advice, modeling, XML work, from others. Yeah, it's good to it's good to hear that people are like really working together and stuff. That's kind of one of those things that I I almost feel like at the beginning of FS22, everybody kind of had their like clicks, you know, and like. I don't know, I feel like it was like really exclusive, but I feel like lately I've been seeing a lot of people really like working together and I don't know, it's good to see. Cool. Uh, let's see, Jacob Olsen. Most finals week is a... Most finals week is the... Oh, yeah. 
You always feel good after you're done with finals. It's the best, I'm guessing you're meant to say best, but um yeah. You got you feeling good, put in the hard work and paid off and yeah, I feel ya. Support MP, I'm not sure yet, uh simulation. Playing on Ashen Corners, great map as well. One of my favorites. For FS22, probably probably one of the top three for me. Hey David, just found a line production in the mod hub, helping me in the big fun. Hey, nice. I saw that there was like a lime heap that you can kind of set down on the side of the field, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of guys around here when they spread lime, they just get it dumped on the side of their field, you know, and then they load it into their spreaders that way if they don't have a you know way to do it themselves or to like transport it and stuff. It's going good, Bryson. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I did not get on last night, uh, Kyle. I was uh, trying to finish up a video on Alma. Because I am busy, busy this week with catering. I have three events back to back. I have a lunch tomorrow for the administrative staff for the local school district. And then I have a business Christmas party Friday night for 60 and then Saturday I have like a private Christmas party for a family at their house for 20 so it's going to be a busy week oh yeah I saw you liked uh, the picture on Facebook Kyle uh, those were two recent events. Yeah, it's going really good, Happy. It's going... It's, it's a blessing how uh, busy it's been. I didn't expect that uh, for my first year owning my own business, so... I am... very blessed. MRG's my dad. Okay. Oh, I was going to show you guys the farm, wasn't I? We'll finish this up quick, and then we'll show you guys the farm. Bologna and cheese. Nope. <laughs> I'm doing sandwiches tomorrow for the staff. They just wanted, like, box lunches, so I'm doing, like, a... What is it? It's like a turkey... Pear with brie cheese and fig jam with arugula on it with a sandwich. I'm doing an Italian one too, so I'm making 10 of each and then they can choose with a strawberry spinach salad and just some chips for them. What's the map? It's Stitzer. Stitzer, Wisconsin by MRG. It's on his Patreon. More than worth the uh, asking price to get on his Patreon. He does make some good stuff. Kind of reinvests the donations and stuff back into different projects for public use and stuff. And it's really cool. I really like the way he's done it. I've been supporting the Patreon for a long time now. So... What's the best thing on the menu? Saturday night I'm making uh, braised beef short ribs with like whipped mashed potatoes and some roasted uh, root vegetables. So I'm doing like some beets. So I'm doing red beets, golden beets, and then I'm doing like rainbow carrots. So I got a lot of different color. Uh, yeah. That's what the private dinner party is. And then I'm doing. And then we're having like a wedge salad on the side. So, It'll be good. Yeah, it's really good. Why you've been playing on it?
Gotta go. Yeah, see you, Kyle. I will definitely check your or be at the stream if you if I can. Definitely. Uh, I have not changed any uh, green prices there, Edric. I'm playing on hard. Oh, I love poutine, David. Don't even get me started. Oh my gosh. Poutine is one of my favorite foods. I love poutine. Alright, so let's give you a little uh, little rundown of the farm, eh? So we got... Here, let's, uh, let's buy ourselves a little side-by-side uh, -side or something to get around, eh? What do we got for side-by-sides? Can't run a deer, because we're not running deer on this farm, so I guess we're going with a Kubota. Or a Mahindra. Yeah, we'll go with the Kubota. I like the Kubota. Little brush guard on the front. I'm in Michigan, but it's hard to find poutine here, Jacob. Ooh, that'd be cool, ghoul. Yeah, that'd be sick. Okay, so where are we going? We gotta focus up. Alright, so... You're a chef as well, David? Okay. Let's go. So, we got our challengers here. We got a lot of different kit here. We got a challenger. Uh, what is this one? Six forty or sixty four D, six forty five D. So that's like the larger version of this one. Then we got this challenger. MT six fifty five. This one's from BSL. We got our big horse, which we're doing the uh, T nine fifty uh, New Holland for tillage stuff. And this is kind of our pusher tractor for when we do some silage and whatnot. Yeah, it's really good, Wyatt. Yeah, you do. I mean, you got to get up to you got to get up to Canada for that kind of stuff. So, for the like, real good poutine. Um, if we come around here. We got our silage pits. We got three big silage pits. And we got our Vel Metal Tanker here. I think you have to use uh, 46 mods like Delio. Uh, you know, his boom thing, pump, slurry pit thing for this. Slurry pit. This is a sweet slurry pit though. It looks really good. Yeah, it just looks really good. All the foliage around it and stuff, it looks sweet. Cartech, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I was binging your videos last night. So this is one cow barn here. Maybe like a heifer barn or like maybe even an overflow barn. I feel like it would more so be like an overflow barn because then you could it kind of connects to this one in a way like the large freestall you know for milking purposes kind of run them through there there is a milking stall in this in this uh barn milk room with a stall sweet with the animated cows that are on uh no creek i believe Bed pack barn, okay, there we go. See, MRG knows. And then we got our feeding lane alley right here. I got, this is a convert I did a long time ago. I haven't really used it, I don't even know. I don't remember where it is, don't ask me. I'm probably not gonna release it. <laughs> it's just, it's just a crappy convert I did the other day, so. Um, then I got that hooked up to the Alice. It's got a blade on it, you know. It's, it used to be our old pusher tractor back in the day, you know. So, 
Got a blade attachment on there, but yeah, it's a huge freestall. I don't have any cows in here yet, guys, but... Here, I think, is where you do molasses MRG, and so this is the feed mix that you have on here. So it's hay, silage, uh, you can do straw, but then your required mineral feed, molasses, and cracked corn. Straw is not required, so. Doug, thank you for the two months, buddy. You're the man. Sorry I don't have any uh, notifications or anything set up for it. I should. I need to do that. I need to I need to be more uh, I need to be better about adding that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, you do have vaccines. Where do we do the vaccines at here? On this farm. I forgot. I know where they are on the smaller farms, but I don't remember where it is on this one. And then if we come back around here to the back, so there's another, is this another one, MRG? This is not a dairy barn yet. I don't know if, or I don't, this is not an animal barn yet. I don't know if he's planning on making it one or not quite yet, but got a large silage pad here. Uh, and then we have this one here, which could be a nice, like, heifer barn, I'm guessing. Like a steer barn. I'm guessing manure spawns back here, which is nice. And then we can kind of come down to the back, on this little lane here. Nice and, nice and hilly. We got another smaller barn, which is... Then we kind of get into like the older, um, almost like, you know, like you used to have your, this was like the original part of the farm and then it kind of expanded on as you grew your operation, right? Just sweet. A loft here. And we have another barn here as well. Oh, some of these gates are open because I was just messing with stuff. So, it's a pretty sweet farm. Pretty sweet farm. And then there's this. I'm not really sure what this is yet, MRG. I don't know if you can give me some insight into what this one is. Just a big long haul type of thing. That open? No. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a sweet farm. Dog. It's really cool. Huge calf barn. Nice. I like that. I was hoping I was hoping that was gonna be a calf barn. That's dope. That's really sick. Is this uh silo gonna be functional? Same as those for when you wanna feed like over here. Hey Rev, welcome to the stream man, thanks for joining. This is a dope truck, guys. So this is from Smebby, this, he just put this on his Patreon last night. I resubscribed to Smebby to get some of his stuff again. And this truck is sick. He's got like a custom pronghorn bed on the back, or you can just have a regular bed, but yeah, this thing is sick. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw that you were adding, or you did, or you were, like, funding those bins, but I wasn't sure what they were going to be used for. I've never heard of those, so. So let's take you into our first, like, equipment shed. Show you around. So we've got the D21 hooked up to the straw blower. We've got the 1170 hooked up to the rake, and we have the... 8670 Ford hooked up to the baler. Kind of have a it has a wider set uh, stance on it for wheelbase or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Did I? What did I see? 
Uh, no, that was in TPF stream the other night that I was thinking about. They were saying something about, yeah, never mind. What else we, oh, are you making those uh, tanks there, Ghoul? So then in the bigger shed, we've got our chopper, the class Jaguar, like the Green Eye 900, it's pretty big, it's like 600 some horsepower. We've got our Gleaner in here with the floaters. Oh, are you making that Demco? Dude, that thing looks sick right now, Ghoul. That a boy. That looks dope. Then we got our grain cart, 80, 8, 851 bushel grain cart. Uh, we got our old planter tractor. So this was the tractor that we used for planting and stuff before we upgraded to the new Massey here. The Massey is now our planter tractor. Got all the all the kit and caboodle on it. So now we might we might still use this one for like drilling, for drilling and stuff. But yeah, that looks sick, RG. That that sprayer is gonna be sick. It, we need one because the only like pull type we got is the best way or whatever from Smebby. Got an old international there. That's like the uh, expansion pack one with our head. Don't know where I'm putting my head yet. And then we got the uh, other farm all from the uh, expansion pack with the loader. So that's going to be kind of our loading tractor for feed and stuff. So that's the farm so far. We got to grab the rake. Run the old 1170 for a bit on the rake. You're doing the Lord's work, MRG. Commissioning all this stuff. Yeah, so it's by Laser, I think, is what it is, Tegan. So if you if you look up L A Z Z E R, I think, on itch, I think that's who released it. It's really cool. It's a really good tractor. Yeah, we're kind of a mix between like New Holland Case and Fent, in or I mean, and Agco. I don't know. I just kind of went with what I thought would be fun to play with. A lot of dairy farms have mixed up equipment and junk anyway, so. But I feel like we have enough tractors to where we could we could we should do like silage wagons instead of like. Um, Instead of, uh, like, box trucks, but I also, like, want to run trucks. I don't know. Because, like, if we ran wagons, we could use this, these two Challengers, and, like, the other New Holland as our, like, tractors that we run the wagons with. I forgot you had to turn it on. You have to narrow this up a bit. This is one heck of a crop right here, boys. This is some thick crop. No, it is still private, Hunter. It's going to be a bit before it's public. There's still quite a bit to go on this map, but if you want to play on it and test it for MRG, you can uh, subscribe to his Patreon. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. months uh oh we're putting a timeline on it you're gonna regret it Margie. all right i'm getting more uh music going
Oh, that's a bummer. That's a sweet tractor. I'm happy I got it. Did he take it down or did the link just expire? Tractor I made on itch. Oh, itch is gone. Oh well. You'd said nah, keeping it pub or uh, keeping it private. This is gonna be a long job. We can only go eight mile an hour. Oh, we just got to upshift. I do. I do have that. Like, all the way at the end. I have a T. But I guess it is the TG. Yeah, this tractor's sweet. I love the sound on it. Is that the one? It's a good one, Hunter. Lots of different farms to choose from. Yeah, it's a sweet tractor. When I was gonna run, yeah, because when I was setting this up, I was originally just gonna run New Holland in case. I was actually gonna run that tractor, but I was like, I never run Agco. So, we'll just do a mix. And that's what we did. Ignore the messy room behind me, by the way, because it's messy. We have a TV that's sideways sitting right behind me <laughs> that I need to hang up the bracket for so I can put it on my wall right here. So then when I want to watch sports, my wife doesn't have to watch it with me. She can watch whatever she wants to watch downstairs, and I can watch my sports up here. I feel like MRG. Whenever MRG streams, he only he, he it seems like you're only ever cutting grass, making hay. It's it's deep. It builds up. That's why he made it to where it's like negative like 14 degrees sometimes. And then it doesn't melt and it just continues to layer on top of it. Yeah, it's true. It's actually true, Legacy. Margie just likes his grass cutting, I guess. Should have turned there, but I was a little late on that turn. You gotta get him to do some chopping as well at some point. Get some silage going. I'm just gonna turn here. We'll leave a little bit. Make it easier for the baler. Yeah, I guess you. He did do some corn harvest on Court, or not Court, uh, Cortland, right? Cortland. That one time he was streaming it. I remember him seeing or doing that. 
And I guess on the multiplayer server, he was all, we were also doing some chopping that one time, so. I guess we can give him a pass, but usually we're, we're, we get to see the old grass mowing and bailing. <laughs> yeah. You're dreaming, Doug. Stream to corn harvest? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I don't believe it. Sorry. Don't believe it. Prove it. I gotta figure out what other ground I want to buy. Cause what do we own here? We own just this section. So we got beans, beans. Is that beans? Yeah, that's beans. Got any custom crops on here? We got alfalfa and clover and silage corn. Uh oh. Our only cornfield is regular corn. How are we going to cut it that with a harvester, a forager? It's not silage corn. Jeez. Come on. Seems like a map maker would think of that kind of stuff. What would make sense for us to own? What's this go to? So this just wraps around here. This is beans. How do we get back here? This is the field that's like wicked hilly that I was talking about. <laughs> I know you can, but I was just messing with you. Yeah, this is the field that's like, whoa. This one's this one's a wild one. A big one too. It's gonna take a while with my eight row header corn head to uh, cut this stuff. So there's a field entrance back here. That we could do. Oh yeah, are you gonna make these? Are you gonna make this functional? This looks like it'd be a cool pasture. Like a big old pasture. Oh. That was the that was the greatest suggestion ever. <laughs> I remember that, Doug. I was in that stream. That was hilarious. I guess this is kind of like connected to this farm, this lane, right? So we could like buy this field, buy this one. That looks like a good field. Run down this lane, and we could buy these. You should put the creep feeder. If I have my choice, I would choose creep feeder, 100%. can do that. We could do these fields. I don't know if I want to farm those, though. I feel like I want to get inland more. I don't usually like farming the border of a map. No, Caleb. I, I don't think... I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that you're planning on adding row crop in this, are you? MRG? Oh, if we bought this, we'd have to buy the pig farm, and I don't want to do that. And buy this field. Yeah, 
Here's the custom, custom farm. If you're thinking about doing some custom work, this one's pretty cool. Sweet little uh, bin setup and stuff. Pretty slick. Hey James, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Do appreciate you. Is this part of the map done yet, MRG? I don't feel like this north side is really much complete yet. Most of it that is complete is like that's like really nice looking is like most is pretty much everything on the east side and kind of in the middle. Hey, it's my boy Pleasant View. What's up, man? Hey Dennis, what's going on man? Hope you're doing well, good to see ya. Thanks for joining. Oh, it's a beast, it's a beauty. This one's real nice. Uh, AT, did AT Farms do this one? No, who did this one? He like, uh, UDIM did and everything, so. The ones that were out there by, like, American Farm or something like that on Mod Network were dog. This one's much better. Needs some new tires, but. Some break at work? Alright, hey. Well, I appreciate you using your break by stopping by, but nice of you. How's the mic volume by the way? It looks like we're not peaking quite yet. I turned I turned it down a little bit. We're kind of peaking every now and then. I changed some stuff because I was having so many audio issues. It seems to be working better. 30 second and only 20 likes. Yeah what the heck guys? Make sure to hit that like button, eh? Yeah, Tyler, I was planning on doing some uh, Tahitian. I want to get my planting in or done, or started at least. But. Frickin' giants and their server issues. I swear. Is there? Ooh, I gotta get busy then. Man, this would have been perfect time to be grinding out those vert contracts. We know that everybody loves uh, Sims Custom Farming around Tahitian, man. If you're not using Sims Custom Farming, you're missing out. I'm telling you what. Yeah, he does one heck of a job. Spreading. Spreading your uh, dry fruit and lime. You know, it doesn't get it done right away, but <laughs> it, it gets done <laughs> at some point. That's all that matters, right? Ooh, you better get on that MRG. We're itching, we're itching for the Demco sprayer. I actually saw one of those sprayers working in the field last, what was it, last summer? May have been two summers ago at this point, but it feels like it wasn't that long ago.
That would be, see that bold type spray would be real nice on this old dairy farm, I'll tell you what. Got all the heavy hitters. Midwest Farmer, what's up man? I don't think I said hi to you, did I? You didn't miss much. <laughs> you are right on time. We are just doing some boring raking. Hanging out, chatting. This field I can't do course play on because it's not technically a field, it's just grass. So. And I thought there was a way that you could like set a, like create a field boundary, but I, I can't figure it out now. I did it on Monteith a while ago, but I don't know if the new version is just scuffed or what. I don't know. Oh baby, getting her going tonight. Let's go. This morning I see all the contracts and it's like dang sent oh yeah, it's about to be busy busy. But I feel like I need to get my planning done first. Before I should really start grinding those. Maybe I'll have one of the workers uh, do some planning for me while I do some spreading, do some custom stuff. I don't know, fling and poo. I feel like I did. I've done so much hay work. Yeah, I feel like I just did a lot of it. So I was like, yeah. Oh, I see. That makes sense, RG. I missed a little bit there. Shoot. Gotta get music going again. Um, let's see, mine's similar, let's go to Will Harrison, he has some good music. Jeremiah, what's up? Matthew, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, MRG is planning on releasing this, yep. It is currently on his Patreon, though. It needs to be... Yeah, you said that. Hello. Hey, Watchdog, what's up, man? You must be trying to... Or you must be at work. You at work right now? I feel like you just work all the time now, Watchdog. Welcome back, David. Filling your whole face with the poutine. I don't I don't blame you. Making me want some poutine now. I wish there was a good place to get some. Could make it myself, but it's not the same, you know. Hey Levi, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. You know it's a awkward time for a lot of people, but it's good to see you guys stopping by and hanging out with me for a bit. What did you think of that hog barn that got released? I like it. There's some hog barns from BSL as well, Pleasant, that I think in uh Thinking about doing something with as well. Because I think I'm going to do some hogs again on the server. Just nice and easy. Like, it's just hard for me to do hogs. Or do cows. On servers. Because. I feel like just like bale handling and stuff. With my like lag that I get. Just sucks. So. I am uh, kind of thinking that I'm going to end up doing some hogs.
Yeah, it's awesome, Matthew. You're good, Matt. This is really my first time really, really diving into the map, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Crispy shallots. Get you. Making my mouth water, David. You got some scheming. You're scheming too. Are you going to get in the hogs as well? I mean, Iowa, aren't they known? Isn't Iowa known for their hog barns? Makes sense, right? Seem to use a steering wheel. I enjoy sticker keyboard. I'm thinking about getting a wheel for myself. And a, yeah. I use a wheel. I use a wheel. See? Use a wheel. Uh oh. Something happened to my camera now. Camera froze. We unplug it? Shoot. Shouldn't have moved it. Let's see. Video capture device. Add existing. Okay. Nope, that is still broken. Is there a way to reload it? Properties, deactivate, activate. Nope, that's not what we wanted. Well, shoot. I messed up my camera by moving it for some reason. It's like not even plugged in now. It's what... I guess we're going to have to go without a camera for the rest of the stream, unfortunately. What the heck? Did I just break my camera? Oh, I didn't see that one, Matt. Well, I wanted to say hi. I got to work 16 today, but it's the second and third. Well, I, I appreciate you coming by, Watchdog. Oh, yeah, perfect time for you, eh, Rev? Good. I figure it's a, it's a much better time for EU, EU UK people than it is for uh, us Americans or Canadians. All right, see you, Tyler. Thanks for coming, buddy. Hey, Riley. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. MRG, he just, he just, anything he touches just turns into gold. <laughs> Mobile games. Farm sim. Thanks, John. Appreciate that. Man, I'm kind of bummed about the uh, camera. I like to have a camera. Shouldn't have touched it. I guess. Didn't expect that to happen though. Alrighty. So we are done raking now. What else can we get up to? I guess we could bail. But... Do we want to bail? I don't know. Hmm. 
This tractor takes some manual shifting. Throw this guy back in the shed. Um, I, well, it would have been today, but I didn't have time to, I just finished recording it, like, late last night, so, I'm debating on putting it out tomorrow or Saturday, probably Saturday, because I am going to be very, very busy with my catering stuff here the next three days, so... And Saturdays and Sundays are much better days for videos analytically for me, so. What else should we do? What else can we do? Can't really chop anything right now, can we? Maybe... I feel like we need to put one of these fields into into wheat. We can get some straw. Uh, it is an 1170. I want to say it's by AT Farms, but I almost think that's wrong. So I don't know. Oh, I forgot I bought that farm. Just was looking at it. Maybe we'll do 75 in wheat. Maybe we'll do 64. Yeah, maybe we'll put this one in some wheat so we can get some straw. Is it wheat season right now? Wheat. Who cool wheat? Set field fruit, wheat, we'll do 50% fertilizer, why not? Nah, we'll do 100. Ready to harvest. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. I'm gonna do some wheat harvest quick with the old gleaner. Gotta catch up on the old uh, chat. So, um, how did you get the cow pastures in Almas? Uh, I just added them. They were the LJR, I think that's what his name. Look up LGR on, or modding on itch, and he has pastures. I just deleted the ones, like, in game that were there by clicking on the fence. And then I added those and put a fence around them and stuff. Lots of lots of uh, playable farms, porpoise. Um, this one's the most complete. I feel like it has all the barns that are well, not all of them, but pretty much all of them working. Uh, there's a custom farm here. There's one down here. Where is it? Down here. Down here. That works. This one works. One here that works. Here, 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 and here, and here that work as well. So, Yeah, Teen's a fun map. I wasn't really sure. I didn't, I didn't really feel like I... I, uh... I didn't really like it, like, a ton when it first came out. But... Now that we're playing on it on the multiplayer server, I'm really enjoying it. No worries, Ghoul. Thanks for thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's easy dev, Jacob.
Maybe we should have started up here. Should have. Gotta get up here. Good. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the help, Jeremiah. Thank you, sir. the old N7 with the 20 foot head and she's uh, with combine experience she's only running at 4 mile an hour boy I, 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 I have no idea Riley um, yeah no I no it's not private because I wasn't given to me but I have no idea where I got it. It's a good tractor though. I like it a lot. I wish it had more of a US style hitch on it, but other than that, it's really nice. Definitely, Jerem or Jacob. Definitely gotta get in on the good mods now, man. That's the best part about PC. It's a whole new ball game, my man. Nice. That's fun. Porpoise. I, I've been thinking about doing something where I could try some of that stuff, but I'm not sure when or how I'm going to get to it. So. Yeah, the New Holland is ATs, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of hard to get kids into, into farm sim, so, I, I, uh, can see that, unless they have, like, previous exposure to farming, right, Matt? I feel like if you're not a farm kid, you might not be interested in, in, in a farming video game as a kid, so. Do calms then? Could, yeah, could do that. Calms then's a good map. I like fast tracks, those are cool. I don't see them very often in the US, I don't feel like, or at least I haven't. But they're cool tractors, they go fast. Nope, not done, Doug. I was asked to drive truck today, but I spent all morning doing prep, getting some stuff cut up and into containers and all that stuff, or so it just makes it easier to cook when I need to, and then yeah, I'm just taking a break, and then after I'm done with the stream, I'll get right back to it, so. But I think they probably have about two hundred, three, three to, two to three hundred acres left, I would imagine. Some in-cabin, huh? I love some in-cab. Especially with this beautiful gleaner that old Pleasant View's got. Um, I think so. I think it's a 47. Huh? Maybe? Toxic? I'm not sure. Hey, FS22. That's quite a name. <laughs> FS22. Chef, a head chef at the Dolphin Pub. Lind. Okay. Here we go. 
That's pretty cool. I'd love to go to England. That is my plan. My wife and I are going to make it to England within the next two years. We're going to take like a two week trip or so to England and yeah. It's, is the plan. Absolutely love to do that. Try out all the food. Just got done with school. Very nice. Always feels good. Finish off a school day. Uh, yeah. We're very busy, Doug. I, got, I was saying earlier how I have... Tomorrow I have a lunch for 20 for the administrative staff at the, or for the local school district. And then Thursday night I have, or Friday night I have a dinner, or a company or company Christmas party for 60. And then, which I'm doing like Mediterranean, Greek type food for, uh, kind of Middle Eastern, it's kind of a mix. Um, so I'm doing like chicken shawarma, doing some beef kofta, uh, doing a Shiraz salad, homemade hummus, uh, some spanakopita, some veggies, and some like, what, what, uh, what, uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Some pita bread. Um, also, uh, it's probably one of my favorite cuisine. It's like Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, Greek type food. Very flavorful, very colorful, very good texture differences. Really, I love Middle Eastern. Uh, let's see. My kids, unfortunately, have no idea on what works. <laughs> I could find some affordable land though. Yes, sir, I feel ya. I would I my goal is to get myself into some sort of agriculture by the time I'm thirty five, so I'm turning thirty on the twenty first of January, so I got five more years to kinda get my finances in order and get get into that somehow. So spare double room more than one. Oh, thank you, David. Maybe maybe I'll have to take it up on it. That would be awesome. You said you're from Kent too, huh? I don't I don't actually know the geography very well of the UK, so I don't actually know where Kent is, but I would love to just like I don't want to just do like London, you know what I mean? Like I wanna go around and do everything. Like I wanna see the countryside, because I feel like that's one of the more like most beautiful parts of England. It's just checking that like you know like it just yeah just want to do all that stuff I don't want to do the touristy stuff Southeast England okay nice uh, let's see it's great or what Doug what did you say okay so it, it was by Kevin yeah okay so toxic yeah so I was talking in my video, I kind of talked about maybe it'd be by Kevin, and that is Kevin. That's Kevin who we're talking about. W. B. Farmer. <coughs> That's Kevin. So that is would likely be where I got it from. Do you have a certain menu you stick to, or we do? Yeah. So I do all sorts of stuff, Doug. So the way I kind of do my catering is that I like to. Um. I really like to like build my menu with my clients so I don't have like set menus. So like we have kind of like a introduction period where we just kind of talk and stuff and we kind of just sit down either together or over the phone and we build a menu together to kind of fit like their dietary needs if they have any dietary restrictions like allergies or just like sensitivities and stuff. I like to I like to kind of figure that out. Or any of their guests even have that I like to give options so very custom thing that I do with my clients 
crazy enough to pick up another school at f English exams of Friday. Are you in like college porpoise? Uh, I would love to try some row crop stuff, yeah, Jacob. I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do it on. I would like to. Um, I don't know. I yeah. I guess it's kind of have to find the right map for it. I don't. I don't want to run a forex if I'm going to do it. Um, but. I also am not like huge into No Creek either at the moment, and Monteith. Like obviously we've already played Monteith, and I don't want to go back to Monteith. So if I could figure out how to get it working on Elma and do and run Row Crop on our Elma series, that would be awesome. I would love that. Hey Dakota, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Happy to have you here. Oh, I forgot I turned uh, manual attach off. Just looking at chat quick, guys. Sorry. I wish I was 30 again. I turned 43 on the third. Nice. You're only... You're as young as you make it. You make yourself there, Matthew. Age is just a number, my man. Third year of college. Nice. Well, only one more to go. Maybe, unless you're going to go and get your masters in junk, but... Um, let's see... When you come to England, I may get you in the kitchen for a shift or two, but... Oh, heck yeah, that'd be fun. I'd love to. There was a there's a few opportunities in culinary school that you could do a stage uh, period. Um, one of my chefs that taught uh, one of my like upper level classes. He has a bunch of he had a bunch of connections in a bunch of different countries really. And uh, one of them was England. And I thought about it, but my final year of college, we were having we had our our daughter. So I was like, I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> I'm not gonna leave my daughter and my wife for three months or whatever to do a stage in a different country, right? So, kind of one of those things where it just didn't work out, unfortunately. Have we seen DRC to River? Yeah, if he adds if he adds row crop to it, which I would guess he's going to, because he's added row crop to every other one of his maps, that could be a really good one. And look, the square their fields are very square, and yeah, it would be nice and nice easy row crop map. That'd be pretty cool. I'm tempted to try making all my row crop ready myself, but I'm enjoying it. It is first time doing. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the map's just really good. I, I'm loving Alma still. It was starting to get a little boring for me, but, like, I... So I, like, made all those changes. And, like, I knew that I was going to make those changes, and now it just... It's come back to life for me. Like, I'm just... I'm really enjoying it again. And I think we're going to get another few good years on the on the save, so... Good. No. Stitzer's not row crop, dairy farmer. And it's not going to be either. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, you're not old, Matthew. Not old at all. Take advantage of pre-public schools. I have a degree in history, geography, and oh, I am working on hunting. Interesting. The hunting slash forestry industry. That's pretty cool. Very cool. What kind of jobs does that get you then, Porpoise? Like, what do you go into with that? Oh, I love that, David. That would be, if I were to be in a restaurant, that would be the kind of restaurant I'd want to be in. Kind of the higher end, fine dining type thing, so. Definitely would be my route if I were to do restaurant work, but the restaurant business, the the hours that you have to put in, and yeah, it's the grind of it, just wasn't for me. So I was like, I'm going to do my own thing. Uh, I originally wanted to just do, like, be a personal chef, and I did a few, I had a client, or a few clients right out of school, but the catering, I opened myself up to catering, and that's just taken off. So I'm just like, that's what I'm going to focus on. Because that's obviously where my business has taken me. And yeah, so. I am really enjoying it. Oh, that'd be cool. That row crop on UMRV would be cool, Tegan. Thanks, Jeremiah. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Very nice of you. It'd be a forestry engineer, like planting wood harvest process, wildlife. Oh, they're okay. Yeah, there's so there's lots of different uh, options for you. It seems it's crazy how many jobs are out there. Like you just like you can't even think of all the jobs that are out there without like actually going into specific like into that industry specifically you don't even know like uh, it just it's wild yeah that's true that is true David I I bring my knife kit down because <clears throat> whenever we go on vacation I usually bring my knife kit because usually where we stay they have knives and stuff but they're all dull which I hate <laughs> I just I cannot stand a dull knife it is the worst thing ever uh, so I just pack it in our like check on or check our checked baggage in it and we have no issues. When you're eating home, uh, hardly any progress towards owning the mat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rev. It's a grind. Doing the own the map is a grind. Like, the fact that Mr. Farquhar, the guy that I got the idea from, is... It's taken him over a year. Like, a real year to... <laughs> to even get close to it and he's not even done and that's just insane to me I highly doubt that we'll end up owning it but the challenge I really enjoy so the challenge is what keeps me going what kinda of makes that uh, series have some longevity You can't stand row crop dairy farmer. Uh, Stitzer, I I can't speak to how complete it is, but um, it's getting there. MRG said earlier in the stream, probably a few months away from a public release. So I don't know this spring or yeah, this spring probably.
this farm is is really uh, has a has a ton of functionality to it. Probably the most complete farm on the map. And to take a step back from recording became a job keeping content going and back. Yeah, man, definitely. I, I definitely know where you're coming from, Midwest farmer. I had that last spring where I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't make couldn't make content anymore, and I kind of just quit recording for like two months. But since then, it's been good. As soon as you start to think it's a, or as soon as you start to, it starts to feel like a job, it's so hard to keep going. I definitely understand where you're coming from. Oof. That is, yeah, that's extra tough there, Rev. Holy cow. You really gave yourself a challenge. You seen the channel with the stovers? You called uh, it. Yeah, I've actually seen his channel, and I, I haven't seen. I saw that he was doing something like that, like he where he plays or he farms the map or something. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that would be a pretty cool idea. Like, I, I don't know, I pride myself on my building skills, and I feel like I could do something like that, where it would be kind of fun. Uh, take a lot of time. It's a very cool idea. He, he does a good job with his videos. He's, he's, got a, he's very good at speaking. He's got a good voice, and he just like he's able to just continue and flow me, man. Speaking is not my strong suit. I do not enjoy talking very much. Definitely out of my comfort zone. <clears throat> Just a laid-back, quiet guy. Yeah, if you guys are here and haven't hit the like button, please... Please consider doing so. Oh, jeez. Let's see. I want to see if my camera works yet. Set up uh, video capture device. Add existing. Nope. It does. It's just not working. That sucks. That sucks. Yeah, if you're going to do animal, or if you're going to do cattle, it's a lot of grass work. That's for sure. But I've come to realize that using auto-loading for bales makes it less of a grind, a lot less tedious, which is huge for me, I feel like. When I get stuck on one job, it just, it kind of just kills it for me. That's why it's been so hard to finish up Monty's. Because that on that map, how we're just farming the whole thing, it's just you do one job over, you're just constantly doing it for so long. I really like this setup pretty slick setup. I have to take a pick. Lower down the head. Do a little screenshot. The Gleaner and the New Holland side by side. Running some wheat.
Hey, why can't it dump? What the heck? Do I have to have the combine on? What the heck is going on? Cannot dump. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Is it a combine issue? Folding is not allowed. What the heck? Rocking him forge. I've never heard of that, David. I'm not a huge knife guy. Like, I'm not a knife snob. I still use my knives from culinary school. That we got. Well. I'm not well versed in the, uh... The knife... What in the hell? Why can't I dump? Try right on the edge of the car. Right. Try it right on the edge. Oh. I'm getting nothing. Nothing. It was dumping just fine. Hmm. It's very strange. Maybe we'll, we'll just try and fill it up again. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Yeah, hopefully my initial grind is went into heavy debt. Never pigs with enhanced animal plus with their light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely. There you go, Rev. Make sure to pay off that debt. Or else it's just gonna keep it's gonna keep building. I always have an issue actually paying off my debt that I take. <laughs> T6 front grid, JD9R, 20, New Holland TG fill unit, no, nothing, nothing from the gleaner. Weird, very weird. Maybe we're going to have to... Man, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, let's see. Also, hello, Kabingo. Thanks for hanging in. Hey, you're hanging out here. Didn't really say hi to you. I just kind of went into talking to you. Well, let's see. Can we dump it into something else? Let's get one of those silage trucks. So this is what I saw. I saw this 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 fall when driving trucks myself. The uh, guys were using their silage trucks as uh, grain trucks. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a little. 
double purpose here. Um, let's just go with age. We'll go trailers. Let's do this one. Do ladder. We'll do. Solid and gate. Silage extension. Red. Uh, let's see. Enjoys the Lanka map from start to scratch. The fields are super cheap. So you can oh nice. You kinda of start small. I haven't even I haven't even bought the DLC because so many people were having issues with it and I was like it scared me. It scared me away. Let's see if we can dump into here. Decided to invest in myself because no one else would. Well see we can dump in here? What the hell? There's something going on with the grain cart? It's around $170 for a 12 set. Such a good value for what you get. Okay, I'll have to look into it. I would like to get myself another set of knives. Because these ones are... I mean, yeah, they're not the best. But I mean, I like them because I'm used to them, but... I need to get a set of whetstones. I haven't actually sharpened my knife since culinary school, and that's been over a year. But I sharpened shit out of them <laughs> uh, when, like, the last week that I was there. Because I was like, eh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to do this again. Alright, so now let's try the grain cart and see if that worked. Oh, I don't think so. No, it says, oh, it has, because it's max capacity. Oof. <laughs> we have trailer fill limit on, and this, this old girl is not wanting to pull more than 35% of the weight. So you might have to get a new truck on the grain cart. I thought it would be fine. It has like 240 horse. But I guess not. Might have to get a new truck on that. Uh, let's see. I have just got me two shun knives. I don't know what that is. Is that just a brand, Matthew? Let's look it up. Shun. Gen knives. Bitch. Ooh, those look slick. Are those those are like Japanese? I want a Japanese knife. Never used one, but I want one. Those look sick. I have Ger mine are German. Now uh, let's see. Saw a T series JD combine for the first time. I live, it's like 70% class, 30% new. It's like, oh, very cool. We have, where I live, it's all John Deere, baby. <laughs> Not really. It's, it's a lot of different stuff, but majority John Deere, because we have the closest two dealerships are two John Deere dealerships. And then there's like an Agco dealership too. My dog's barking. done barking now. Sorry, I had to beat my mic. Oh, let's see. Yeah, no, I've had that issue before Kabingo on uh, other on other green carts. So I definitely understood what you were saying. Got all my knives from the cooking gill. Okay. Definitely look into that, Dennis. 
I'm like I'm like pulling up and like saving all these tabs on my uh, <laughs> on my phone of all the info. The cooking guild. I can look it up after. Ooh, those look sick. Those looks like some sick knives. The Nomad series from the Cooking Guild? Ooh. I want like a cleaver knife. I'd love to have me like a cleaver knife. Ooh, and this looks like a really nice boning knife too. No, oh, these look sick, Dennis. Far the sharpest things better than the one. Okay, that's good to know, Matthew. I need, yeah, I'd like to get a a Japanese chef knife, like a like a I don't know, your like standard size one. What is that, like fourteen inch or something? Twelve and a half inch, fourteen inch or something? Uh, Japanese knife. Like I said, I'm not a knife snob. Um. Being a nice knob isn't a bad thing, though. <laughs> it just means you know a lot about knives, and I'm not, not that. And then I want a new boning knife. Awesome, slick top. Thanks for joining, man. I do appreciate that. Hopefully, you had a good day at work. What do you? What do you do for work, if you don't mind me asking? Always enjoy kind of seeing you know, what people do for work. I need JD Charger, JD Comic, kind of right. Killer nearby, Colossus is number one. Yeah, I would think so. Seems like Colossus is very popular in Europe. Any of like the UK guys that I watch, they run Colossus. Pretty much, harvesters, or if they have custom guys come in, their custom guys are running cloth. So, my jack of all trades is a seven and a half. Oh, oh yeah. I feel like isn't it? I, I, I feel like your standard chef knife is like eight, right, David? Isn't that it's like eight inch, seven and a half, eight inch. And then usually the larger ones are 12, I think. These are so expensive, Dennis. <laughs> These knife sets, holy sh... I guess if you're gonna get a set of them, where you get a, like a honing steel, a paring knife, a boning knife, a slicer, it's like 700 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, so I would, yeah, I want like an 8 inch Japanese, that would be nice. I'm going to definitely look into the, <clears throat> those Suku brands or whatever that was. I haven't, I haven't pulled up on my tab because those look like they're pretty slick. Matthew. Do you run, or do you have a Japanese style, David, or is your, is yours more German? Like the double edge. I bet, I bet, I bet you do love them. They look, they look sweet. Like the handle on them and stuff. Those look really cool. Definitely like a statement piece, right? Yeah, they do. It might be a little bit more in my price range, David. These ones are cool too. I like the kind of like the design on the blade. If I'm looking at the right ones, Forster collection is pretty cool with like the wooden handle on these Rockingham ones. It's pretty sweet. Okay, good to know, Matthew. 
I can get forges independent forge and ah, oh, that'd be pretty cool. Have a have a set straight out of the UK. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, mine, mine are getting worn. Mine are, uh, I pretty much have to hone them just about every time I use them. Well, one, because I haven't actually sharpened them, like really sharpened them with a, with a stone in so long. And two, I think they're just getting worn because I use them so much. Hey, Ben, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you. Thanks for joining. But I think once we get this truck loaded, probably gonna end up calling that a day here for the stream. I gotta get back to doing prep, guys. Can't let myself get behind. I gotta get way ahead for three events in a row that I do all by myself, so. <laughs> if our women at home, yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it. That'd be sweet. Dude. Love that. Hey, Sickbert. Yeah, we might have to hook the fent up to the grain cart. It's gonna have a, if the New Holland's gonna have an issue pulling it. I can't believe that. Yeah, I'm t I feel like I'm slacking, Dennis. But you need a break, you know. You gotta, you gotta have a break and not overdo yourself. Thanks, David. Yeah, definitely hit the like button. Yeah, enjoying the stream or did enjoy it. No, I had fun. It's probably the longest stream we've done. Nearly two hours. Hour and forty three minutes it looks like currently, so it's pretty I love that fill plane. That fill plane is like really dynamic on this rock. Kinda nice. So yeah, we'll leave it there guys. So appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out. I gotta get back to work. So The hogs and ash and take manure or make manure. Yeah, I believe so, Tegan. Yep. Believe so. But I'm not don't 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 Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm like fifty percent. <laughs> so that pretty much means I'm not sure. But anyway, so uh I will uh I'll get back to work and I'll hang out with you guys later on. I don't know when exactly we're going to be back streaming, but whenever I have time, I'll try and sneak a sneaky stream in. So I'm out, fellas. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.